We asked over on our Twitter for you guys to submit your favorite F1 testing and racing liveries. And now we're going to be putting those submissions up against each other in the ultimate F1 livery championship bracket. If you missed out on your chance to submit your favorite F1 livery, be sure to follow us on Twitter so you don't miss out on the next one. In this video, we are going to have 16 testing liveries going up against 16 racing liveries in order to determine which one is the best from both sides. We did get a significant amount of submissions, and unfortunately we couldn't include all of them, but we thank you anyway for your participation. We've used a bracket generator to pair up the different liveries up against each other in a random order. Of course though, we're keeping them to their categories for testing liveries and racing liveries. Ultimately, if your favorite livery gets kicked off, it's nothing personal. We recognize that this is all subjective. And now with that out of the way, let's get into the championship bracket. Here are all the liveries in contention for this bracket. Bear in mind, it's going to take a little longer at the start, seeing as we have 32 different liveries to look at, but it's going to ramp up as soon as we get into the quarterfinals, semifinals, and of course, the finale. So make sure you stay tuned all the way through this video. Jumping in first for the F1 testing liveries. First up, we have a battle between the 2020 Renault testing livery and the 2020 Alfa Romeo. I know that the all black Renault is a fan favorite, but it's just one color. I'm personally leaning more towards the snakeskin because Alfa in recent years have had some of the best testing liveries, and it is such a shame that they don't use them permanently. And with that said, we are putting the 2020 Alfa onto the next round. Next, we have McLaren's 1997 testing livery going up against Alpha latest winter testing livery for 2021. I believe this is one of the first instances where we saw the original orange papaya color on the McLaren. Alpine's livery is similar to last year's Renault being all black, except this time they've just included the team's colors. But I think for me, I'd be going with the orange papaya McLaren. Now we got a lot of Red Bull racing submissions and it clearly shows that they're doing something right. So we got the 2005 against the 2019 Red Bull testing livery. First, you have the one that literally looks like a Red Bull can. Brilliant. It's absolutely brilliant. But I love the way that the arrows make it look like the car has momentum going forward. As much as I love the 2005 livery, I think my vote is also going to go for the 2019. But 2005, I'm so sorry. I hold you dear and near in my heart. Next up, we have the pairing of the Williams FW22 testing livery against the Force India 2008 testing livery. I'm personally still leaning towards the Williams, though. I just think it is more aesthetically pleasing to the eye. For me, Force India's testing livery reminds me sort of like of an X-Wing fighter from Star Wars, so it really looks powerful. But like you said, the Williams is more pleasing to my eye, so I'm going for that one as well. Next up, we have the pairing of the 2007 Spiker bright orange testing livery going up against the BAR Honda 1999 testing livery. I really like the arrows on the orange Spiker. It reminds me of the 2019 Red Bull car that we just looked at. But on the contrary, I do like the lines and how they're set up on the Honda. I also really like that the Honda is sponsored free. I feel like that's something that we so rarely see that makes this feel just extra unique. We're going to go with the Honda as our pick for this round. Next, we have the Williams testing livery from 2020 going up against the 2019 Alfa Romeo testing livery. Ah, the infamous Colgate Williams livery. This was highly contested. People kind of seem to either love or hate this one. Especially when it's going up against the 2019 Alfa Romeo testing livery. I mean, look at that thing. I think this one's going to go a long way in this championship. Without a doubt, the 2019 Alpha gets our vote and is moving on to the next round. Next up, we actually have two Hondas going up against each other. We have the 2004 Italian Grand Prix testing livery, where Anthony Davidson almost looks like it's a see-through model of him driving the car, up against the 2004 testing livery for the Chinese Grand Prix. I am personally leaning more towards the Italian Grand Prix test livery because I just like the look of how the driver is seated with in the car. I do agree that the color scheme looks a bit off, but overall the design itself is more appealing to me. Probably the most unique livery from this list, so we're gonna move it forward to the next round. So our last pairing for the testing liveries in round one is once again two Red Bull cars, 2015 versus the 2018 testing livery. I personally think that the 2015 black and white camo just 
stands out a little bit more. But I almost feel like there's too much information so that from a distance it looks nice, but the closer you get it almost seems like there's so much being thrown at you versus a nice cool winter camo. But for me, the 2018 one lacks a little bit of color. It kind of feels like it washes out with the black. It was a close call, but ultimately the 2015 testing livery will be moving on. So that was round one of the testing liveries face off. Now we are switching sides over to the regular season racing liveries. Our first pairing is between the 2009 Braun livery up against the B186 Benetton livery. The Braun is just a classic clean design with that little pop of fluorescent versus the Benetton, which is, let's say, very polar opposite with all of those flashy bright colors looking like paint strokes. Personally, I know that people are going to come at my throat for this, but I don't really like it. I don't really get the vibe that they were going with. I just find that the brawn overall looks a lot more powerful. But in my case as well, I think I'm going to go with the brawn one. It stood out as such a unique car with the lime green. Next up, we have a little bit more of a recent pairing with the 2020 Mercedes going up against the 2016 Manor Racing. Straight off the bat, I love the fact that Mercedes rebranded over to the black livery. It also brings out the pattern in the back of the car and who could forget that one is also red for Nikki. And then with the manor, I don't know. I just find that this is the McLaren color scheme, but McLaren does it a lot better. To me, this is a clear choice. 2020 Mercedes takes the win on this round. Next, we have Camel Williams up against Alpha Tauri's 2020 livery. Now, of course, to me, the Alpha Tauri livery was the one that shocked me the most as it changed so drastically from last year along with the rebrand. I like the contrast between the white and the navy, and the Honda logo sticks out well in this one. But for me, this might be for nostalgia just sake but the camel canon williams partnership it just holds such a distinct place in my memory to me this is an easy choice to go with williams next up we have the 2002 jaguar r3 going up against the classic chrome and red mclaren livery from 2007 to 2013. this one's going to be a tough one for me because i feel like the jaguar has the best blend of their sponsors with their livery and the jaguar going up the back of the livery is perfect my vote personally is going to be for the jaguar in this case and I kind of miss Jaguar being on the grid. But anyone who knows me knows that the chrome is arguably one of my favorite favorite liveries. I think it comes as no surprise. I'm going with McLaren. I'm going to have to compromise on this one. Next, we have the Arrows A21 from the year 2000 going up against the 1997 Williams racing car. The strong points about the Arrows is the parallel lines on this car. They just match the shape of the car. The sponsors, once again, just fit in nicely. And orange is also one of my favorite colors, but I don't know. To me, there's just something that feels a little bit lackluster about this. I can't put my finger on it, but that Williams on the other hand, I'm 100% coming from bias and nostalgia, but this is the car that Jacques Villeneuve won his world championship in. And of course, it's very pleasing to look at. So in this case, there was pros on both sides, but we're going to go with the Williams. Next up, we have another range of liveries with the McLaren MP4 range from the MP4 12 to 20 up against the John Player Special Lotus F1 livery design. Once again, I'm a huge McLaren fan, and this era was what I grew grew up with in my childhood. I'm a huge David fan. I think it's a very clean design, but I think for my sake, it speaks to me more in terms of nostalgia and when I grew up watching F1. The John Player Special, on the other hand, just radiates classiness. And this is what you think of when you think of an old school F1 car. For me also, the John Player feels a lot more elegant and professional when I look at the car. It just feels like you know that they're here to get down to business and get the job done well. So that's why we are going ahead with the Lotus for this round. For the next round, we have the Jordan 1991 7-Up F1 car going up against the Lotus 102. Clearly here, you can see that the sponsorships had priority in these liveries. I've said it before and I'll say it again. I'm a sucker for green. Even with the shape of this car, it literally makes it look like a bottle of soda. Whereas on the other side with the Lotus livery, it's not busy at all. We have one main sponsor, which is clearly identifiable as Camel. But ultimately, I do think that the 7-Up is overall a fan favorite and also a driver favorite as well. And our favorite for this round, so that's why it's moving forward. For the last pairing of the first round of racing liveries, we have that classic old school Renault blue and yellow going up against arguably Ferrari's most famous car, 
the F2004. It's an iconic bright red with the Marlboro sign going up the side of the livery. It is that standout piece, and when you think Ferrari, you think of this car. However, on the contrary, it's the same thing for Renault. When you think of Renault, you think of the powder blue mixed in with the yellow, and it's actually a livery style I want them to go back to. But also, the Renault is near perfection, but the one thing that makes it slightly off for me is that rear wing. I just think that sponsorship and the complete change in font and coloring completely takes it out of it for me. So that's why we're gonna go forward with the Ferrari from 2004. So there you go, we've gone down from 32 different liveries down to 16. This should go a lot more faster now that we've seen all of the liveries at least once before. Heading back over to the testing liveries and we got Alfa Romeo's 2020 livery going up against the McLaren from 1997. In my case, once again, the negative side of the Alfa snakeskin one was the heart logo. I'm still not sure why it was there. So my vote is for the papaya. Next, we have the Red Bull 2019 testing livery going up against the Williams FW22. Look, guys, I think this is a no-brainer. The Williams is nice, but it was far from our favorite on the list, and Red Bull is still in contention to take this side of the bracket. Next up, we have the 1999 Honda going up against the 2019 Alfa Romeo. Two liveries here where the sponsors aren't in our faces, but I have to give my vote to the Alfa Romeo. I do like how simplistic the Honda livery is, but in this case, it's a shoe in for Alpha. Next up, once again, we have the Honda Italian Grand Prix 2004 special livery going up against the 2015 Red Bull testing livery. Although we do like the see-through factor of the Honda livery, I have to give it to Red Bull once again. It's so unique. Once again, the Honda livery is a bit clunky in terms of which colors they chose and where they ended up versus the 2015 Red Bull, so my vote is for this one. Heading now back over to the racing liveries, our first round is between 2009 Braun and the 2020 Mercedes. I'm leaning more towards the Braun on just because we didn't get to see this car for a very long time. It was there and then gone in a flash, and it has still left such an impact on the sport to this day. However, I just feel like the white though just would blend in too much with the other cars on the grid. Whereas the black and turquoise pops more on the grid, and it just... I feel like there was more detail put into this design versus the brawn. Since you compromised for McLaren earlier, I guess I'll concede and compromise for this one, but it is a tough call. I have the feeling this next one's gonna be tough for Cass. It's the Camel Williams against the McLaren MP4 21 through 28. Both are just such classics and they are such distinct eras in F1, but I'm now looking at the Williams and there's just so many colors and also so many sponsors, which I know that the people designing the livery have to take into account. I think my blatant bias is coming out here again, and I'm still leaning towards the McLaren. Next, we have the 1997 Williams going up against the John Player Special Lotus. Although the Williams holds a special place in my heart, ultimately, the Lotus is so smooth and so clean. It's not too busy, but it's also not too simple. This color scheme will withstand the test of time. In this case, it falls sort of back into the same boat as last round in terms of the sponsorships and how busy the car looks, and that's why we're going to be going with the Lotus. Oh, guys, this is another tough one. <laughs> we have the 1991 Jordan going up against the F2004. Why did it have to come to this? Why? It's really hard because as much as I like the red Ferrari, over the years they do stay relatively similar between the years, so I'm going to have to give my vote to the Jordan. To keep it simple, green is my favorite color. That is ultimately the deciding factor for me because I hate that we are eliminating this amazing Ferrari, but Chris is right. They've kind of kept the same color scheme and over the years I find their liveries have changed less and less. Whereas we're never gonna see a seven up car again, let's be honest. So the Jordan moves ahead. And now we are moving into the quarterfinals. Things are gonna get fast here in our decisions. I feel like they're also gonna get really harder for us to choose. Choose. Moving on to the quarterfinals for the testing liveries, we have the Papaya McLaren 1997 up against the Red Bull 2019. I think it's without a doubt saying, although we do like the orange papaya, the Red Bull 2019 livery is just so hard to beat in this contest. I'm honestly getting almost annoyed because the longer that the Red Bull makes it through, the more upset I am that they won't just bite the bullet and make this an official livery. Two modern liveries going up against each other this time. We see the Alpha 2019 once again, this time up against the Red Bull from 2015. 
I'm gonna go back to my point that I first said about the Red Bull from 2015. It has a lot going on, and when you get closer, it's almost overwhelming. Versus the Alfa Romeo, it's really just clean and not busy. It gets my vote for this one. Both of these cars have a lot going on, but the spacing on the Alfa just makes it feel a lot more uniform and pleasing to look at. So Alfa gets my vote as well. Heading back over onto the racing liveries, we have the 2020 Mercedes going up against the McLaren MP4 21 through 28. I don't think anyone's gonna be surprised here. McLaren all the way. I'm sorry, but this is not a competition between these two cars. You have one of the most classic liveries in F1 versus a brand new livery that ultimately is black with a little bit of turquoise. The chrome here is what gets my vote over the Mercedes, so that's why it's gonna move forward. And another tough one to end off the quarterfinals is the John Player Lotus versus the Jordan 7-Up. I'm gonna have to give my vote to the Lotus. It's just a lot more elegant, like we've said throughout this video. As much as I love the green, I am also going for the Lotus. I just think that this color scheme is such a win and I wanna see it back in F1 again, just not through rich energy. And now we are on to the semi-finals. We have the top four liveries to decide from. These are the top two testing liveries from our submissions. We have, of course, Red Bull versus the Alpha Romeo testing livery. You have one that is intricate and has small details. And if you take a closer look, the more it jumps out at you versus the Red Bull with super clean lines, a general flow going across the entire car that leads your eyes from the front to the very back. Cass just made such a great case for Red Bull, but my vote is for the Alfa Romeo team. I love that you said that I made a great point for Red Bull because I was not meaning to. My vote is also going to Alpha. I just think this is so distinct. Feels like almost a James Bond car with the casino vibes. Why, why couldn't this have been permanent? I'm gonna keep saying it. It's stunning. And that is why the Alfa Romeo livery from 2019 is our winner of the testing liveries. On the opposite side, we have the Chrome McLaren MP4 21 through 28 going up against the John Player Lotus. When you put these two against each other, I have to also go with the Chrome. It just looks overall nicer, although how elegant the Lotus looks. This one just shines out to me over the other. I am so very happy to hear you say that because <laughs> this is quite frankly my favorite livery of all time. So to see it make it this far, what can I say? I'm thrilled. This absolutely gets my vote. Let's go McLaren. Bring it back, please. Please just bring it back. Somehow, any, any form. Just bring back the chrome. These are our two winners from both categories. If we had to choose one though, Cass, as the ultimate winner, I have a feeling Cass is gonna go with the Chrome McLaren. I'm gonna personally have to go with the Alfa Romeo testing livery. The decision is up to you guys. Let us know down in the comments which of these two you think would have been the ultimate winner of this bracket. Ultimately, we know we are incredibly biased and not everybody is gonna have the same taste and or opinions. This is just what we believe, but we wanna hear from you guys. If there are any other themed brackets that you'd like us to do, let us know down in the comments. If you have enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave it a like. As per usual, make sure to follow us on social media and make sure that you don't miss one of these submissions again. Thank you to everyone listed here for submitting your picks for this bracket. Thanks again for watching, guys, and we will see you next time. Bye! Bye.